Number 19, in this figure over here, a block of ice slides down a frictionless ramp at angle 50 degrees, while an ice worker pulls on the block using with a force FR that has a magnitude of 50 newtons and is directed up the ramp. As the block slides through distance d equals to 0.5 meters along the ramp, its kinetic energy increases by 80 joules. How much greater would its kinetic energy have been if the rope had not been attached to the block? So remember that the work is the dot product between a force and a displacement. And this exercise is really simple, but it has a lot of data that we are not going to use and some students make confusion. So let's think a little bit. So we can calculate the work done by the worker. It's just the force from the rope or multiplied by the distance. This is a dot product. But in this case, the displacement is downwards and the force is upwards. So this angle over here is 180 degrees. So remember one of the properties of dot product. So dot product between two vectors is the magnitude of the first one times the magnitude of the second one times the cosine of the angle between them. And in this case, this angle is 180 degrees and cosine of 180 degrees, cosine of 180 degrees is equal to minus 1. So the work done by the worker is just the magnitude of the force, which is 50 newtons times the displacement, which is 0 0.5 times the cosine of 180 degrees, which is minus 1. And this is equal to minus 25 joules. So we can conclude that the worker, it, it it removes 25 joules of energy from the system. So let's forget the, the worker for a moment. So we wouldn't have this decrease of 25 joules. So the kinetic energy would be 25 joules higher. That's it. So the answer of the exercise is 25 joules. Let's Let's just go back a little bit, just to, to, to recall everything. So the work done by the worker removes 25 joules of energy from the system. So if you forget this, the energy of the system would be 25 joules greater. That's, and that's it.